last item I have, I can... It deals with the, the property donated to the county by Santa Fe College for the development of the new Theresa substation. That property currently has a, an RSF MH1 residential single family mobile home one zoning designation, which allows for the development of public facilities by special exception. So we're seeking permission from the board to submit an application on the board's behalf for a special exception for that property. I'll make a motion to approve a special exception. Second. And, and uh, well, to, to clarify, you're not approving the special exception. You'll have to do that sitting there at the planning and zoning board. This is to submit the application. Yes. <coughs> So you just want us to okay. Our request is for our motion to approve submitting an application for a special exception. Okay. I'll make the motion that we approve to submit the best website as a special exception. Thank you. Second. Motion is second. I would say remote. Aye. Aye. That's all I have. Thank you. Smith's stead today. Uh, he, he's under the weather uh, this morning and couldn't be here. So, um, sends his apologies. Chairman, board, uh, I'm going to stand before you here and just give you a very, very brief report on the, on our flood abatement program and how things are progressing. Uh, I'm happy to report that with all the rain that we've gotten over the last few days, uh, the the movement of that water through the, the areas that we've already cleaned um, far exceeds our expectations of what it was going to be. And, uh, and so we've heard from some residents this weekend and, and uh, listened to some people. We've been out there quite often and, uh, and looked at it ourselves. And uh, it, it's, it's doing way a lot better than what we expected it was going to do. So um, for that, that's a happy and, and, a, and a good report that I wanted to give you. Uh, I stand before you this morning, though, um, as part of this project, um, I have to uh, sign proclamations of a local state of emergency every seven days to extend this, and I have done so on August the 22nd, um, signed a proclamation declaring a local state of emergency um, for the period of August 22nd to August 28th for the purpose of providing access to certain areas of private property and certain areas within waterways necessary to complete the Sampson River Alligator Creek tree removal and flood abatement project. Um, with that, I'm asking now this morning that you um, that you sign a resolution or that you adopt a resolution uh, from my proclamation. Mr. Chairman, can, before you get the motion, can we read the title by the resolution by title into the record? First one is a resolution of the Board of County Commissioners of Bradford County, Florida, confirming a proclamation of a local state of emergency in Bradford County, Florida, and providing effective date. Also moved. Second. Motion has a second. All in favor of the motion has a second. Uh, Thank you, sir. I have one more. I also signed a proclamation for the dates of August 29th to September 4th uh, for the purpose of providing access to certain areas of private property and certain areas within waterways necessary to complete the Sanctuary River and the Tree Removal Flood Bank Project. I'm asking for a, uh, you to adopt a resolution for that proclamation also. And we've got to be late and read that. Are you? Whatever you a resolution of the Board of County Commissioners of Bradford County, Florida, confirming a proclamation of a local state of emergency in Bradford County, Florida, and providing an effective date. A motion. A motion. Second. The second. All in favor of motion. Aye. Aye. Motion is Thank you, sir. Clerk's report. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to remind the board that uh, of our public hearings on, on our budget. Uh, the first one is September the 13th. 
That's on a Thursday night, and it's at 5.30 p.m. here in the boardroom. Then the final hearing will be on Monday, September the 24th at 5.30. And these dates are based on the trim that we have to go by. That's the reason why we couldn't set these dates. Good morning, Mr. Chairman, board members. This is the uh, FDOT Scott program. The road selected 227, Cairo 227 from 301 to uh, where 18 turns. to actually read the resolution. Uh, like I say, this was put into the program several years ago as all of our, it's funded by the FDOC under scratch cop and safety uh, programs. And uh, we'll probably run into the same thing with this one that uh, the estimate was done before we start doing the CEI. Uh, and then we've got an additional services. So uh, if I may, I'll ask Mr. Sexton to read the resolution. The resolution of the Board of County Commissioners of Bradford County, Florida, approving execution of the Small County Outreach Program Agreement with the State of Florida Department of Transportation for the widening and resurfacing of Southwest County Road 227 from Southwest County Road 18 to Southwest State Road 200, providing direction of staff and providing an effective In, in your packet, you may read that's 218 and, and some other things. Uh, I'll just ask you to ignore those. It's, it is 18, County Road 18. I'm 
I'll make the motion to approve the resolution of Second. You have a motion and a second. And, and also a question, Council Ken. Go ahead. Is, are, are, the, uh, are most of the dump trucks done running that route now? I would say most of them are, yeah. Okay. Because that's yeah. kind of the thing that hill when things close. That, that's what I was wondering. I hadn't seen many trucks. I haven't seen you drive in a while. Yeah. Know. There was just a few trucks uh, about a month ago. Okay. Not not enough to get concerned about. So okay. right. I, th I think it's a safe state and safe most of them. When would this construction yeah. start, Mr. We have until the end of next year, almost the end of next year, to have the plans done. There. And I'm glad you mentioned that because it will require a, a good survey. You know, we've got uh, a bad S curve in that road. That I wish we could have done something about that. And the drainage along that road, not to mention the cross pipes that have been impacted by all the trucks. So doing the survey will take a while, but it is, we got to do it. purchased a fire truck from Hillsborough County, a 2000 E1 Typhoon model Class A pumper. Uh, when we purchased it, it had 121,000 miles on it. We used it up until here recently where the engine had a catastrophic failure. Specifically, the number one cylinder overheated and dropped valves on top of the piston and welded the, the valves of the piston. What's important to know about that is that the at the time of its failure, it had 9,900 hours on. So getting with E1 and you put a number to the hours of 45 miles per hour, that engine had 445,500 miles on. It's a great truck. The fire body's in good good shape. The pump's in good shape. The truck interior's in good shape. Uh, we recently uh, converted it all over to LED, which significantly helped the charging system of the truck. The truck doesn't have a lot of computers on it, and it doesn't have a depth system because the uh, environmental control systems for the exhaust. We have the master EBT for the city of Gainesville come over and look at uh, the truck in its dismantled state at Florida Tractor. He agrees to the repair. He, uh, he advises us to go ahead and repair the truck because we will not be able to find a truck of that quality anywhere in, in Florida. If we buy a new truck, we'll be, uh, we'll be spending this kind of money um, on considerable. What year? I, I would like to repair the truck. We have the money. What year? Oh, I'm sorry.